And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. I'm your host, the RPG guy, and we're off to Mimir's Well. So, let's do it. Alright, so getting to Mimir's Well is one of those easier seeing than done, sons. And so we need to kind of head off this way. We want to go just a hair south, because once we get into the very low numbers, is pretty much where this place is going to be west to east and I want to keep going south a little bit more and oh, actually I went too far Because it's right around, I want to say it's right around here. Yep. Let's go in and sort this all out. Now, Mimir's Well has some good stuff in it. Some of the best stuff, even. But you'll see what I mean. Daddy! I did not press that button. No! No! Surprised. <laughs> you sure look it. The dream demon Beatrice. Is this your doing too? My doing? Oh, please. <laughs> You've been calling this phony daddy all this time. You don't have it in you to destroy Mimir's well. You're not capable of sealing Hades. How can you be so sure? Well, if you really want to know, why don't you ask that phony directly? But if you do destroy this place, I'll be waiting for you in my castle of dreams. As the final grand ball is approaching. Don't be late. You'll be one of my distinguished guests. I don't know why it's going. It goes on its own sometimes. And that's just what they did. Daddy, what did Beatrice mean by that? I won't be able to destroy Mimmer's well or Hades. What does she mean? Answer me, Daddy. I am not your father. Your father, Warner, passed away that fateful day ten years ago in the Yggdrasil thingy. What, what, what are you talking about, Daddy? Let me repeat, I am not your father. Your father died ten years ago. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. If my father's dead, then who the hell are you? I thought it was my father who supported me all the way here. Who are you? If you are willing to face the truth with open eyes and accept it, follow me. Asking who I am is the wrong question. I am the whole personality data of Werner, the one he saved inside Hades. Yes, I possessed his memories up until that point. In some ways, I am your father, Werner Maxwell, but at the same time, a different entity. A deep-seated delusion, a remnant, though. These may be the appropriate terms as described. Probably speaking, the suspended terminal projects and hologram based on Warner's records, which were saved in Hades. Furthermore, mass and repulsion are simulated through gravitational manipulation. In other words, I'm like a ghost with mass, and... That's enough. Then the ability you used to save us on a number of occasions was... It was the repulsive force being expanded and deployed for a brief period. I can't read fast enough in their voices to keep up with the auto-texting here, so doing the best I can. Do you remember the incident at the sacrificial altar? How can I forget? The dream demon took advantage of my innocent little brother. She was probably trying to release the high density energy generated by the surge. Whatever. I believe she planned to gather the energy needed to create her own planet in order to inject the Yggdrasil system generators with a high level life force energy. Which means Beatrice still hasn't carried out her plan. For the time being, no. But she will make her move before long. <sighs> and the final grand ball is to take place at the Castle of Dreams that we do not have much time. To 
tomorrow. Yes, the password is tomorrow. It was also our mantra, the success of Council of Seven, who yearned for the tomorrow of a fell Gaia once lost. It is ironic how we utilize the artifacts of yesterday to seek a tomorrow. And yet here we are. I'm summarizing the best I can. I'm sorry, guys. Daddy! You would still consider me your father? Daddy, it was you who placed these flowers on Mom's grave. So Mom wouldn't feel lonely, right? You were always so kind and caring. That's unmistakably the daddy I know. Forgive me, Virginia. I just wanted to deliver it tomorrow to you and your mother. Good move, Clyde. Good move. <laughs> Though I may have died physically, my spirit and my heart live on. That day, ten years ago, a guy responded and miraculously survived the accident. It took Jet to a similar laboratory with a nature nurture pod, and we reconfigured it for him. After that, I embarked alone on the search for the... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going too fast. Sorry. I'm not pressing any buttons, by the way. This is just going on its own. I want to hunt down Beatrice and stop the calamity from ever happening. At the very least, I consider this an atonement for my sins. However, Daddy... A suspended terminal that makes up my current structure seems to have been damaged by Beatrice. I don't have much longer. Virginia, this is my last request to you. I want you to destroy this facility so that the point of contract... Oh, God. We gotta destroy this place. The server, the connection between Fogai and Hades. Yes. As a memory existing only within Hades, I will no longer be able to exist in this world. But either way, I'll be gone. The suspended terminal is damaged. That is why I entrust this task to you, my beloved daughter, so that you will... Oh. No, 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 I can't. I can't do it. It's like this really dramatic part. I'm already a fragment of data stored within Hades. Nothing but a mere memory. I am but a shadow of the past. Your hesitation may cost the memories of those who exist and live for today. For as long as Hades is in contact with Fogaya, the threat will never end. Cast away your hesitation. Face the truth with open eyes. Virginia, once you cock your arm, do not be afraid to pull the trigger. Daddy, why did you teach me how to shoot arms? And don't say it was because you wanted me to shoot you. I wanted you to think for yourself, to know what it meant to have the power to harm others. By doing so, not only does it make you... Well, God damn it, game. The one negative to this game is these few cut... This big cutscene where they just jump cut through all the dialogue and it's not there's no voiceover to really do it so it's like uh i remember growing up i had to like reload this section of the game just so i could read it all which you guys can graciously do by pausing the video to get all that data in i wonder if they fixed that because i know there's a ps4 remat not a remaster but a, like a re-release i wonder if they fixed that problem i hope they did because it's really annoying especially in endgame in information like this or like major plot points it doesn't happen often but man is it infuriating when it happens daddy I put you through hardship yet again and made you cry too long time ago I cried so much I thought I was going to shrivel up and I'm doing it again all the tears I've been holding back must have all gushed out at once see I was a terrible father. It may have been better had I not come back. No, that's not true. Even though I was overwhelmed with grief when you disappeared, the joy I felt when we reunited doesn't even compare. I was so overjoyed I couldn't express it emotionally or with words. And yet I saddened you once again. I'm okay. Well, maybe not really, but... I'll hang in there. He told me to be strong. That's what will keep me going no matter what obstacle I face. I'll do my best to be strong. Do you really have to go? At some point, memories are meant to fade. If not, people who would not be able to establish, people would not be able to establish a future. But even so, memories will live on in my heart so that they may guide me to something. Uh, here. But it's not to say goodbye. This is a handshake that signifies our bond, so that we'll be together no matter how far apart we are.
this may sound cliche, but my father is alive. A memory inside my heart. I can say that with confidence now. But there's someone out there who's trying to take this dear memory of my father away from me. Not just mine, but everyone else's precious memories too. Might not be as grand as saving the world, but my goal right now is to protect everyone's memories. That is my reason to fight and my reason to live on Felgeir. If that's okay with y'all, I need to ask for your support. You really need to bring this up in now. And as for our confirmation, give me a break. Come on, you're embarrassing me. I guess it cannot be helped. We shall accept your mission. As for our reward, we would like a world that will carry over our memories into the future. We are the ones who make our own memories. They're ours. No one's gonna take that away from us. To protect all to protect all of our important memories, we must defeat the dream demon, Beatrice. Take send her back to preschool. I'm just being a dick. Yeah, those scenes are the worst, guys. I'm sorry. I, I can't read that fast and do inflection and all of that. And I know some of you even hate that I do the little voiceovers, but I even if I was to read that without a voiceover, I could not read it that fast. There's just no way. Just just no way. So, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. hold up a sec. What's up? I've got a plan. If it all goes well, we might be able to find out where Beatrice is. Really? Well, we'll see. But let's stop by Basket Colony first. Hey, I'm pretty sharp today. <laughs> Beatrice, by the way, for those of you wondering, has been appearing in scenes since the early parts of the game. It, always in the background and stuff. Not just those few moments in Chapter 3 and maybe a little in Chapter 2. They go as far back as Chapter 1. I'll give you an example. She was standing by this well the first time I think we came in Boot Hill outside of the prologue. Not lying. It was that was something that happened. I think I made a comment. I didn't give it I hope I didn't give anything away to those of you who've never played this game and are watching this. Um, or have never gotten that far in the game, but yeah. She appears in various places throughout the game's cutscenes. And uh, I don't know if anybody's ever uh, accumulated all of her appearances. But there, there's, there, there's a couple, not soup, not a whole lot, mind you, but enough that it's kind of interesting, in a way. So we need to go back to Mimir as uh, well, because as you saw and as I saw, there's a lot of stuff there that we need to, we need to look into. Um, specifically, stuff regarding uh, where am I? It's all the way to the west. Okay. It's one of the. Oops, that's east. It's one of the things where um, it's it's a neat notion. Here's what I would say: like Nino Kuni failed with its final villains because they weren't impulsive enough. They didn't have as clear of a presence as, let's say, Beatrice has. Um, the White Witch, for example. Um, now, with that said, you could make the same argument that Beatrice has been there but not done anything. But there's been references to her even in the game as well since we've started playing, too. Um, as far as uh, demons who can go through memories and all of this, all of that hubbubaloo, there's a lot of different things that um, have been mentioned about her. Um, the only negative would be is that they weren't mentioned very strongly. Um, they, they, they were, some of them were so far back, there's not much of a way to really remember any of it, in all fairness. It's like, oh, that was mentioned, you know, 15 hours ago in the game, and it was just a passing statement. Um, so yeah, there, there's some of that in there. And then they really start leaning in, Siegfried mentions it, really heavily leans into demons that live inside the li Hades library, right? So... But that was really late in the game. You know, that was near, nearing the end of Chapter 3 when we finally hear it kind of directly said, as opposed to hinted to, where the prophets had hinted to it. Uh, some of the data from the research facility, uh, the ley line, of, was it from Yggdrasil, was it Yggdrasil or ley line? One of those 
one of those facilities made a reference to things living beyond, at least like our dreams or something. It was always made reference to in the, the most simplistic and slightest way. But beyond that is another story. Anyway, yeah, so to get the goodies of Mimir as well, we actually got to really move stuff around in a weird, weird way. And it's one of those easier said than done kind of shticks. Um, it's very much like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like, kind of like a Millennium Puzzle, but you can't get rid of blocks, <laughs> per se. Um, let me think here. Uh, Hmm. Let's try it like this. Give myself some more room. get a duplicator yay and we just kind of have to put it back here there is an item you can get wait do we do we even have it i don't even think we have it no we shouldn't yeah i'm not gonna worry about it yeah we'll just work our way back out of here you don't have to whoa a little farther all right We're pretty well loaded on duplicators. Get the final, I believe the final migrant seal. I think there's only 20 of them. So for those of you wondering if we were going to find them all, we did. Another Duplo door. And another nasty, nasty puzzle. Um, I, I would say the easiest way, I think, if my memory serves me right, is to, to get around this, is to really just kind of flood one side of this area here but I could be wrong you know what I think I am let me put it back because we can't move the center area so we got to create a new center area I think you know what no. be easier to do it this way right and then maybe this way and now we've created a fissure in which we can move blocks to get where we want to go. Just like the other puzzle, I think. Ooh, well, maybe not. Let me think here. No, you know what? That's no. It's not big enough. Too far. Let me think this through here. This is gonna work either. These are these are a little trickier than I remember. Okay. Let's try this. Then this.
think we're okay now. Yeah, we're okay. Got it. And we get the Adventure 9, which means we have all of the adventure uh, books, I believe, that we can get. So eventually we'll need to go back to Humphrey's Peak and deal with that too. Uh, just as a heads up though, I don't know if I'm going to read all those books or not. Because that could take a whole episode. I'll debate on it, see how far we get in this episode, whether or not I do that. Because yeah, we'd have to read all of those adventures. Oh boy. And they're like multiple, multiple pages of reading. Whereas there is a reward for getting them all and, and reading them all. Not out loud, but reading them all. Anyway, it would be worth it to do it. So you'll notice a lot of these doors have duplicators on them. So yeah, Mimir's Well will burn pretty hard through your duplos here. Alright, so this is a little bit more straightforward because all you can do is go one way, really. And you have a long way you gotta go. Um, so there's a lot of steps to this, unfortunately. And that means there's gonna be a lot of steps to get out of this. Now the problem that I worry about is that yeah see I've run into a, a bit of a snag here it's making the turns that are kind of tricky so really we should start with this one first even though I could be wrong but it only makes sense because the only way we can get from here to here I want to get it all the way out of my way. Alright. So the question becomes which one's going to be the easiest to maneuver. I think we did it just like making the turn on the other side and we're almost through with the luxury of having to backtrack all the way through here which by the way this will be one of the few times I use a gimbal coin once we've completed this because there's still one more thing left to do here inside and in there as well and you do not want to have to go through re go through all of this again. Trust me on that. There would be nothing to come of that. That should be all we need to do for the last block. That is blocking <laughs> our way. Woo! Made it. Holy root. And a tiny flower. Yeah, that 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 was that was that was it. It's fucking horse shit. Don't get me wrong. It's totally fucking horse shit. All right. Well, we've come this far now. We gotta fight our way back through, which is literally just doing this whole thing that we've done mostly backwards, with a little exception. You don't. You there's there's a little more room for error, I think, when you do it backwards, because you just have this big gap of space to work with. Where you didn't really have, you had that scat before, but you didn't know how you got through the, through it all, so. Really? <laughs> of course, instead of the inner one, we're going to take, we'll always take the outer one for the turn. And again, we only need to reveal enough that we can get to the door. Now, to do 
do the turn, even though we may not need to do much for that turn. We should be able to just squeeze right by. There we go. Whew. All right, now I will use a Gimmel Coin. Again, like I said, one of the few times I ever do. Wait a minute. I'm spelling tomorrow wrong, aren't I? Idiot! Whoa, 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 that is... Alright, open says me. Yay! And just to make sure, I want to make sure we didn't miss anything in here. Also, there's enemies in here, so if you're if you're doing a completionist thing, fighting every enemy in the game, you have to make sure that you um, fight the enemies that are here. I believe there's three different enemy types. But yeah, I think we've done we've gone through all the rooms at this point. Yeah, I got it. It's weird because I always feel like there's something across the way, and there isn't. Yeah, see, I always want to think there's something over there. Yeah, we did all these puzzles. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. So there was the other two puzzles that we did were here. Oh, come on! Really, game? Don't need this shit right now. And it's gallows of all fucking people. Just wait three rounds. This was not intended, guys. Sorry. But we could power through this all the same. Summon, Brave Seal. It's at 99. It should mostly work. Looks good. And was a waste of time. In a way. The full carrot and the delicious, sexy, incredibly sexy, full Libra that nullifies all status effects. Oh my. <laughs> Who to put that on? Always tough one. All right. Okay, so here's what you need to know. So we got everything that's here, but there is something else. There is something else. When we were in the Ark of Destiny, we had learned from a book about the Ice Queen, right? So what does that mean? Let's see. There were two things that it talked about. Let's do that. And there it is. You find this out in the Ark of Destiny's library. It's the Ice Queen book. We read it earlier, I believe. We perused through it. And I made a, a glib content like, ooh, that's for later. So that's really what you got to do to unlock Lolithia. Sweet. Now, Lolithia is a rough customer here. Because he's going to do some things we ain't going to like. But what we want to do right out the gate is pop a Lucky card and a Gela card. 
Let's put up Hyper. And let's get Clive down to nothing. Now, Lilithia is going to hit us with ice attacks primarily. And can also cause sleep. Yeah. But you know who has protection, I believe, right now against sleep is actually Clive. Natural defense. Because of something we get. Because of what uh, his setup is. So, he's going to be immune to pretty much anything Lilithia can do except physical damage. So this battle's going to be over much more before it starts, one would argue. Not going to lie, but it is something that might, be, that might be interesting, one would say. Alright, so with that said, let's Mystic. Full Carrot. Status Lock. Virginia. Uh, not much really for, for Gallows to do at this point, so we'll just let him defend. And you, sir, will just use a regular berry. So he'll be dead probably by the next round. It's hard to say, but most likely that's going to be what's going to play out here. Gatling. Fuck it, Gatling and then Gatling. <laughs> if the regular characters don't kill it, Clive will. That's probably a guarantee unless something happens. Clive didn't even have to bother. And we get an ice ring for our trouble. Look at all that money. Woo! And all that XP. Nice. And Clive will level to 7 to T. And that's all there is here in Mimir as well. Let's get out of here. That's literally it, guys. Now, with that said, we're either going to end the episode on a slightly early note, or we're going to luck out because I've done everything correctly, which isn't always the case. This one's tricky as hell, and there's a lot of screw-ups that can go alongside this, but we need to prepare the characters first for this. Let's go ahead and remove Ice Ward and put on Dark Ward on everybody, pretty much. Not an option. Uh, Gallows doesn't need it? Yes, he does. And then we're looking now for Fortune Gear, which is near, what town? E Dune Canyon, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, first go to Boot Hill, because I don't want the game to continue really yet. So we'll go to Boot Hill, free healing there. We can also say, then we'll head to Dune Canyon and go east, just east of it, and figure it out. If... Now, here's the thing. I'm going to just explain what I'm looking at right now. And what I'm looking for um, specifically is that we opened every chest possible in the game. Because the final dungeon doesn't have any chests at all. That includes Millennium Puzzle chests. It includes everything. Every dungeon that exists in the game has been opened. Okay. There's a chance that I've probably missed some earlier on. And I just need to go and clean them up. I'm not going to waste my time. Or your guys' time so much, if that's the case. I'll just verbally tell you where I missed a chest or two. Uh, but I think we've gotten them all. So, by this point. Because there is no other dungeon that has treasure in it, uh, ch chests in it, going any further f from Mimir's Well's reveal. So once you unlock everything in Mimir's Well, there's actually something that you might want to do. I don't know how else to explain it. But you're probably going to want to do this. Um, but yeah. 
jokes aside, it's um, it's another side boss that I made reference to, I think, earlier. Jokingly, of course. And then when I made reference to it, it, you know, I said, we're not going to be doing that for a while. And that's true. We're not going to be doing that for a while. So we need to get to there. I passed it already, didn't I? Yes, I did. Gotta be. No, that's the Millennium that's behind us. And it's like, it can't be that far. Because we didn't have Lombardia, so it can't be a place I gotta fly to. So, Fortune Gear. No relation to Metal Gear. This is where we got the Luck Guardian. From way back when. And this is what we're thinking of here. Yes, I wish to know. Oh, of which 317 have been opened. Okay, so we're missing three chests. We know it's not Millennium Puzzle related, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take a moment. I'm not going to end the episode. I think I can, if I do a quick run of all, the whole world and figure out where I missed something, we will find it. Okay? It could be back in, like, the opening dungeons from the beginning of the game, like the Den of Mesma or the Doom to Obscurity. We missed something somewhere. We're going to find it. So hang tight, guys. We'll be back. <laughs> 